welcome back. <laughs> a little late here on Wednesday because I had my hair done and it took a little bit of time, but I had sort of an epiphany I wanted to tell you about. This little talk is going to be about getting out in nature. And um, I've been seeing in um, doing research in things about depression that people talk about getting out in nature and how it helps. Now, I was a person who would always go out on my back deck and I would spend, if I could, all day out there. And I would sit and read in my journal and I really, really loved it. But I've noticed now that I've sought treatment that when I go out onto my deck, I don't enjoy it anymore. And I think it reminds me of just sadness and loneliness and boredom. And so I just can't enjoy it the same way. And so one of the things that I've started doing is going for walks. Now I will let you know that it, it's much more fun when you bring a friend along and I have a friend, a neighbor friend who we've been doing walks at least once a week. And I'm trying to do more of that with my other friends as well, because not only is it great exercise, but you're connecting with nature and it just feels good. And I really missed going out on my deck. And so what I've tried to do is incorporate this, these walks because it really does sort of energize you. So if you have, um, you know, maybe your family, maybe after dinner, you can go for walks or with your husband or your significant other and take romantic walks at night. That's kind of fun to do too. But we've been going to all these parks and things that are in the area, and I've lived in this area for 10 years, but for some reason I've never really ventured out into these parks. My significant other is just not really the kind of person who enjoys doing those things. So we're going to zoos, we're going to museums, anywhere where there's a lot of walking that you can do. Um, and even just the parks in the area, parks that I had no idea existed. They have this beautiful pond at the top of this very, very tall, very steep hill. And that was a great workout just to go up that hill and then to wander around with the pond and all these little um, hiking trails. It was just so much fun. And it's just been so invigorating for me. And now that I don't have that opportunity to sit outside and enjoy it again, this is sort of the next best thing. And like I said, it, it lifts your mood, it connects you with nature, which they say is a really, really good thing to do. It kind of gets um, you into a better frame of mind. And you know, of course it's also exercise. But one thing that I've done that I still like really enjoy wanting to go out on the deck, but now instead of going out in the daytime, I go out in the evening. So we'll watch the sunset together sometimes, my significant other and I. And that's been really, really a dream. So I'm starting to enjoy that aspect of it more. But for whatever reason, just since I've been on, you know, the, the treatment program here with the depression, I just noticed that I'm just not enjoying, you know, the things that I used to enjoy. And I think because they do remind me and they put me back in that place of loneliness and sadness and boredom and depression. And I just don't want to be there anymore. So today as um, I was walking down to the salon getting my hair done, as you can see, look how shiny and silky. <laughs> I like to do videos when I have an appointment to get my hair done because <laughs> then that's one less thing I have to do. But um, gosh, I always walk and I always walk swiftly to get there fast. And today I just sort of was like, oh my God, I would so much rather be out here. And I was walking really slow and just taking it all in and the sunshine and the beautiful weather and the trees and the smells. And it was wonderful and it's very refreshing and I wanna go out there again right after I film this video. But you guys, you gotta get out in nature. I don't know what it is, but there's something about being out in nature that just puts you in a nice calm state. And I've been hearing it and hearing it from all kinds of people. And I used to do walks, I used to be a walker. Um, and then somehow I stopped and I think it was the depression. It just sort of made me, uh, I don't wanna go anywhere, I don't wanna do anything kind of mentality. So it really helps if you have a friend or someone that you can do these things with. I highly recommend it. Um, I enjoy going for a walk after dinner as well. Um, just around the neighborhood, maybe down the street to get some yogurt, you know, who knows. But, but make it fun. Um, bring someone with you. If not, and you're by yourself, 
that's great. It's meditative. It's time by yourself. It's connecting with nature and it's still a really, really good thing. So go for those walks. Go to unusual places, places you've never been before and enjoy yourself. Take a deep breath. Take it all in and enjoy the present. The present, not the future, not the past. Enjoy the now, the present, where you are right now because a lot of times we're not focused on what's going on right now. We're thinking about the past. We're focusing on the future. Enjoy the now. Connect with nature. And really, I, I think it's going to uplift your mood. I think you're going to find it very refreshing and meditative and probably the best part of your day. I know it's one of mine. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. We'll see you next week. Remember to subscribe and share. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. And it was good seeing you this week. See you later.